Hello and welcome. In this video, I will discuss about the working of an AIS. So before uh, going through the topic, you need to know that AIS operates principally on two dedicated VHF frequencies or channels allocated by ITU. AIS-1 works on the frequency 161.975 MHz or channel 87B. AIS-2 162.025 MHz or channel 88B. This uh, ch channel 87B also known as simplex or ship to ship. 88B is known as duplex or ship to shore. The AIS system works on transmission protocol self-organizing time division multiple access whose short form is SOTDMA. So what is time division multiple access? Time is divided into multiple parts and all the nearby ships will transmit on the allotted time. So in SOTDMA, each minute of time is divided into two 250 time slots and one time slot is equals to 26.67 milliseconds and contain 256 bits of data and the rate of transmission is 9600 bits per second so in this figure you can see that ship a is transmitting in a time slot and future time slot is also reserved and it can be visible to other by the AIS of other ships so that the other ships AIS will not interfere. Similarly, ship B, ship C will also transmit in different slots. So this is how transmission occurs between the AIS of different ships. For differentiation of the time slots, the AIS of the nearby ships needs to be in synchronization, means uh, the time uh, needs to be same. Otherwise, uh, they will not be able to distinct or differentiate the time slots and this may create confusion. For that purpose, the uses, the AIS uses precise timing of the GPS signals to synchronize multiple data transmission from many ships on a single narrowband channel.